Alright, what is up, fellow Aaron Space Geeks? Mick here from ECG Aaron Space, and with probably. I did a couple videos before on Malaysia Flight 370. Um, but this is probably going to be the last one I'm going to do for a while until there's some new news out. Um, but it's basically of where are we now with it. Um, haven't found anything whatsoever. They were picking up a pinger. Um, there are other things that can make that ping, so it's not 100%. There was a company, let me get their name, I think it's Geo Resonance, who might have picked up a, an actual image of it with their... Uh, the equipment they use somehow analyzes the metals in the ground. They're, the reason it was came around was due to the... It's a great way to look for like nuclear weapons and stuff, chemical weapons and bunkers. Um, but they think they found something. Apparently the Malaysian government's interested in it. Um, the rest of the search uh, searchers from different countries and stuff kind of aren't giving it any credence, which I don't know if it should or shouldn't. I don't know all the information, nor does a lot of people. Um, and like the Prime Minister of Australia has been saying and things like that, it's just there's a good chance we, we may never find out what happened to Malaysia Flight 370. Um, uh, I posted this image in the video just because I, it's a great way to actually see what they're doing right now because they quit the air search and now they're just doing a, you know, a sea search with um, like you see here the towed acoustic systems and the autonomous w underwater vehicles um, but yeah it could be years I mean Air France they were lucky to find it when they did, the par the parts floating when they did, but it's just been so long and there was so much delay with the Malaysian government before, you know, even announcing the plane was missing and stuff, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.